Newport News detectives are investigating the city's first homicide of the year. A city employee stumbled on the body on Industrial Park Drive just past Dozier Middle School, and detectives just released new information. Then your size, Liz Palka, with what we know about the victim tonight. Liz? Yeah, Tom, police just told us a detailed description of what this woman looks like. We know she was 24 years old, and while they haven't told us how they think she died, I can tell you from getting up close to where her body was found, there was a lot of blood. Newport News police and investigators process a scene for several hours Friday morning and into the afternoon. The victim just identified by police. They say her fingerprints told them who she was and she's 24 years old. She was wearing jeans, a black sweatshirt and white Adidas sneakers when she was found lying at the foot of this silver gate off Industrial Park Road. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning, maybe someone might be going through them, but normally it's just locked up. That's a service road on the property of Newport News Waterworks. In fact, it was a Waterworks employee who made the shocking discovery around 7.15 in the morning. Gerald Goddard works at the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and was just getting to work. I got in about uh, 7.05, 7.10, something like that, and I heard some sirens and thought it was probably just the fire department. Goddard and others say Industrial Park Drive is well traveled, a cut through for Jefferson Avenue and Warwick Boulevard. This homicide investigation, the last thing he would expect. I was here pretty late last night and here pretty early this morning and didn't notice anything. And Newport News police tell us they won't release the victim's name until her family is notified. Live in Newport News, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. Well,